In this Excel video, I will teach you even more Excel quick tips that will transform how you use Microsoft Excel. And this video is number three in a three-part series on quick tips to change how you use Excel. Please check out the other two videos as well. Quick tip number one is how to quickly add another sheet to your workbook. You probably know that you can click this plus sign to add a sheet, and that is fine. But in Excel, it's often best to keep your hands on the keyboard so you can quickly type and accomplish what you need to do. So there's a nice shortcut key that will add a sheet to our workbook. It's Shift F11. So hold the Shift key, tap F11, and you get a new spreadsheet. I can do it as many times as I need to to quickly add several sheets to my workbook. If you're working on a laptop computer, you may need to hold Shift Function and then tap the F11 key. Quick tip number two. In Excel, you have quick access to format the cells that you're working in. So for example, let's say I have my data selected, A1 through E6. I can hold the control key and tap one, and it takes me to the format cells options, and I can click through these to make changes to the font type or the font size, the border, the fill options, and more. I'm gonna hold control and tap Z a few times to restore that back to the way it was. Quick tip number three is add borders. To do this, just click and drag to select the range of data that you want to have a border around. Now I'm not talking in between cells here, I'm talking just around the outer border of the range of cells. With that range of cells selected, hold Control, hold Shift, and tap the AND button or ampersand button. In most cases, it's on the same key as the number seven. It looks like nothing happened, but if I click away, you can see I do have a border around my range of data. If I had just selected a couple of cells here, held Control, Shift, tapped ampersand, you can see that there would be a border around those cells. Quick tip number four is bold text. In Excel, I can click and drag to select either a range of cells or you could just select one cell, either way. But once you've selected something, you can hold the Control key, tap B, and instantly that range range of cells will be bolded. Quick tip number five is very similar. Italicize text. Just click and drag to select one or more cells. Hold control, tap I, and that range of cells will be italicized. Quick tip six is also similar. It's underline text. Click and drag to highlight a range or just one cell. Hold control, tap U, and that range of cells will be underlined. Quick tip number seven, delete cell contents. Now there are several ways to do this. If you just want to delete the contents of the cell, but not the cell itself, you can just click on it, tap delete on the keyboard, click away, the contents of that cell are deleted. You could click and drag to select a range of cells, tap delete, and that also works. Now having said that, there are times when you would want to not only click and tap delete, but you might want to do more to clear out the cell. And I've just demonstrated one example of when that's important. The delete key just deletes the contents of the cell, but it doesn't delete the formatting or other characteristics of a cell. So to delete the formatting and perhaps other things in this cell, click on the cell, go to the home tab and look in the editing group. You're looking for the clear tools. And in my case, there's just an icon here because I'm working on a computer with a small screen. So if I click on this clear tools button, I I can choose to clear the formats and it works. Now, if the text were still there, I could click and clear the formats, but it wouldn't clear the text. And so often the best option is this top one, clear all, and the cell is now completely empty and blank. Quick tip number eight is zoom in and out. And once again, there are many ways you can do this. You could go down here to the lower right corner and use this slider to determine how zoomed in or zoomed out you want to be. There's also the view tab, and we have some zoom tools here that are very useful. But in many cases, you may just want to zoom in just a little or zoom out just a little. And in those cases, hold the control key and use the scroll wheel on your mouse. So holding control and scrolling down, I zoom out. Holding control and scrolling up, I zoom in. And this is very useful to get just the exact zoom that you need. For many of you, you'll never again need to use this slider or the view 
view Zoom tools. Okay, it's time for quick tip number nine. You're gonna love nine and also 10. And then after that, I have a bonus tip. So please watch all the way to the end of the video. Quick tip number nine is switch to formula view. In Microsoft Excel, if you have a formula, let's say 59 plus 67 divided by three, tap enter, the formula doesn't show up here in the cell. Instead, you can see it in the formula bar or if you double click on a cell that has a formula. So instead of showing the formula, you see the results of the formula. But sometimes it's useful to see all of your formulas in their glory without seeing the results of those formulas. Now to really demonstrate this, I'm gonna to have to zoom out a bit. So I'm holding control and using the scroll wheel to zoom out. And now I'll hold the control key and tap the back tick key. Now, typically the back tick key also has what I call a tilde above it, but basically this key is in the upper left corner of the keyboard and I'm showing on the screen now an example of what this key may look like on your keyboard. So I'll hold control and tap that key and it's changed my spreadsheet so that the results of this formula don't show up. Instead, the formula itself shows up. And this is a toggle button, so if I I hold control and tap back tick again it toggles off if I tap it again it toggles back on okay quick tip number 10 is quickly add a hyperlink to your spreadsheet so for example I can type into my spreadsheet some sort of text or numbers and then I can tap enter and then click on that cell hold the control key and tap K and this will open the insert hyperlink dialog box here I have selected existing file or web page I could change it to one of these other options but for now I'm just going to click here in the address bar and type in or paste in a hyperlink that I've already copied but either way there's the hyperlink that I want this text Text to take people to. I click OK and now I have a hyperlink in my Excel spreadsheet. Anyone that clicks that link will be taken to the best and most humble YouTube channel in the world. So in this video I've shared with you 10 quick tips that will transform how you use Microsoft Excel. I do have one bonus tip. If you remember tip number one was how to quickly insert a new worksheet and that was by holding shift and tapping F11 and I get more and more sheets across the bottom of my workbook. So that's a great tip, but sometimes you don't want a new blank sheet. You want a copy of the current sheet you're working on. You want a duplicate. To do this, hold the control key on the keyboard and then just click with your mouse on the sheet you want to duplicate and then drag just to the right, release the mouse button, release the key, and you now have a duplicate of the first sheet. Now, of course, you can change some of the data if needed. You could right click on the sheet tab to rename it, tap enter, and you've got now a duplicate sheet. Thanks for watching this video. Remember that this video is part three in a three-part series on Microsoft Excel quick tips that will transform how you use Microsoft Excel. I highly recommend if you haven't seen the other two videos to please check them out. I'll try to include links to those at the end of this video. And if this video series proves to be popular, I would love to make more videos that are similar to this. And if you're new to my channel and love Excel, PowerPoint, Word, and other technologies that can be used in education or the business world, you're going to love watching all of my videos. So please check them out, especially my beginner's guides and my complete courses. If you watch all of those, you will understand Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, Excel, Google Drive, and much more in depth and be able to master these amazing programs. In the meantime though, thanks again for watching. I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, the best way to do that is to become a channel member, but you could also click the thanks button below the video. You could support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch, and you'll see information about those options in the description below the video. Speaking of supporting the channel, I want to say thank you to my fantastic super techie and ultra techie channel supporters. Without you, I don't know if I could keep doing this. Thank you so much for all of the support and help that you give me.